Hey guys, it's Carrie here at Thousands of Roots and today I am going to attempt to share our 2019 garden plans. Right now, um, looking out into our garden, uh, it's quite a mess out there, but we're just really, really excited uh, this year to have had some funds to be able to put some work into our garden. Um, in the past, we've just had to use free resources, which was wonderful. And if you're in that place, go for it. Use whatever you can to just get growing. One year we only had three small raised beds because that's what we could do. We had a newborn and um, just didn't have a whole lot of time for gardening. <laughs> and so this year is definitely the biggest garden plan we have ever had. And um, so we're going to attempt to share a little bit of that with you today, despite all of the construction and the work that's going on out there. So I thought the easiest way to do that would just be to look at the paper plans. Um, and I'll just kind of walk you through the plans on paper and I will say real quick our paper plans are nothing fancy Just I just taped a few pieces of white paper together There's lots of eraser marks because we're constantly changing our ideas and um, fixing things and learning things and um, as we learn we're reshaping the plan, but nonetheless hopefully this paper plan uh, Gives a little bit better perspective on what's going on out there. So here it is. This is basically zone one and zone one is the whole area right around home this is our home south is that direction and basically this is our front door so if you walk out our front door and head left it leads right to the root cellar which we just did a video um, with a little bit of an update on that so right now just beyond the root cellar this whole area is a bunch of piles of dirt and compost and a big machine <laughs> but our goal is to have strawberries and perennials uh, perennial flowers various things and in, in some beds in that area so then continuing on past the root cellar we head into a whole new area a new garden space for us this year and raised beds were just put in along the back end and along the side where the chicken yard is so we've already got some currants planted and we have raspberries on the way. Hopefully we're gonna plant asparagus today. And we did get both the Nanking cherries, um, little bush cherries transplanted as well. And also in this space, we're hoping to plant some winter squash and we have a carrot group going in and some perennial hibiscus along with annual roselle hibiscus. And then heading out of the new area into the old garden space, um, we're going to be doing a new blueberry bed. We transplanted a citrus tree recently, um, and there's still some pots sitting in this area, so we'll be working on making a huge uh, blueberry bed there. And then on from that, we've got a couple of the kids' beds. We've got Nathan's bed and Joshua's bed, and uh, raised beds all along the edge. The raised beds are going to have, hopefully, some perennials like asparagus and we've got some bulbs planted but they're also going to be we're also going to grow some ma mainly sweet potatoes and then we've got our double bean trellis uh, that we're hoping to grow some more green beans and cucumbers on this year we still have our strawberry patch um, and we've got our apple trees in that whole area uh, we're working on Kip's working today on pruning our last apple tree the Empire and so far, we've got a lot of perennial flowers and comfrey planted under all the apple trees, and we may plant some potatoes again this year. So on to this side, this is toward the barn. Uh, we've got Esther's garden. We're gonna help her get a little garden space uh, that's bigger than last year, because she wants to plant some food in her garden space. So we're gonna help her with that area. We've got two pear trees and kind of scattered throughout the whole garden. I've got various places for summer squash, winter squash. We're gonna try and separate them uh, here and there and everywhere. We've heard that that might help with the squash bug problem. So we're just gonna pop squash all over the place randomly throughout the garden. And then moving along, we're gonna hopefully have a, a second double cattle panel trellis area um, right next to our compost bins. And then beside that, we'll still have a little area for growing tomatoes. And uh, we have our already established um, asparagus bed right on the end. Potatoes are still growing in the compost. <laughs> yep. Just came over to check on our taters. 
that we planted. This is an experiment planting potatoes and the compost. And dug down in here and I can see some some little growth coming on. I don't know if you can see that, but that's a piece of a potato shoot coming up. So I might have to take a little bit of this hay off as it starts to warm up because it's a pretty thick layer of hay on there. And moving back toward the house is Joseph's bed. What's coming back in your bed, Jaybud? This, this, comfy. Comfrey? Yeah. yeah. Comfrey. Yeah. And what is this over here? Do you remember? Um, what you got for is that garlic chives? Yeah, garlic chives. Garlic chives, yep. They're coming back. Uh huh. And Caleb's on the back. Yeah, I forgot to mention Caleb's bed too. Do you want to go show him Caleb's bed? <laughs> so here's Caleb's bed. He's got all kinds of garlic chives growing. We're going to have to transplant some, huh? Yeah, but these are Caleb's. Yeah, Those these, like that. these are Caleb's. Caleb's bed's under an, ar uh, an arch trellis here with our hardy kiwi on it. And it's right next to an area over here that we hope to make a little sitting space. It's just been our burn pit, but we're going to clear that out and I think put some kind of native rock area there that we can, and a little sitting space right there in the middle of the garden. And we extended the garden out this direction and hopefully we're going to be able to make a little area for our grapevine to grow up high over some little arches there. I've got a wisteria that desperately needs some control right over our sawdust bin. We're hoping to better our water catchment off the sawdust um, bin that we have, as well as add an IBC tote for catching water off our compost down here at the end of the garden. So hopefully that'll help us with watering this year in the garden. Um, last year we had to tote water all the way from our house to this back end of the garden, and that was a lot of work. <laughs> Uh, then back over toward the greenhouse, we've got three brassica beds. And so all things brassica are going to go in those beds. And hopefully flowers on either end of each bed. Uh, we have a fig tree planted here, fig bush rather, and lots of perennials going into this little space on the edge of the driveway here. And then that takes us back to the root cellar greenhouse. We're hoping to add some cement all around the root cellar and add various pots and planters for perennial uh, herbs. Uh, plans that may or may not happen this year are um, peas and tomato beds right up next to the house here and these two spots are potential um, walk-in winter growing beds right off the patio south facing. South is that direction. And this across our driveway is a whole new space that we're working on. We just moved a bathtub that used to be the cow water to this location for Esther to have her miniature garden village. Just planted a little fig tree baby that came off our other fig tree right in the corner. And this raised bed is in. We still need to build this raised bed. And the hope is to have this animal proof <laughs> soon enough to be able to plant some watermelon and Maximus family winter squash. We've got five varieties that we'd like to plant on a double trellis if we can get it ready in time. So that's pretty much it for this year other than we are getting a whole nother area ready over here. This is where the trampoline, trampoline's actually kind of in this, this area, but there's the swing set where the children love to swing. Um, we hope to have fruit trees all along a swale um, leading to a pond, a big duck pond. Hard to see. The, the pond's off the page here, but hopefully a duck pond eventually. But in between the duck pond and the children's play area, we're hoping to put in a crop garden space. We're not going to get to that this year, but that's future plans. Uh, these are actually going to be solar panels for our well which is located right there. So none of that is in place yet, but we're slowly getting it ready. Chickens, ducks, cows, lots of hay and manure have gone into this space already. So that will hopefully be next year, 2020. All right guys, so that's our plan for 2019 garden in a nutshell. 
Uh, there's a whole lot more details that we won't be able to share in this video, but we look forward to sharing more as the growing season gets going here in Zone 6, Missouri. Just want to encourage you all to, if you haven't planted anything, you're not someone who likes to plant, maybe just try putting a seed in a little pot in your windowsill. Um, if you are a gardener and you love gardening and you love sharing ideas with people, please give us some ideas in the comments below. Share what you're doing this year in your garden. Um, we love to hear what's going on in your lives. So thanks for watching. We pray blessings over you and yours. And whatever you do, do it with your whole heart.